What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you today. So in today's video we're going to talk about Archipack Pro's roof creation tools. So in this video specifically we're going to talk about how to create roofs as well as how to create roofs that follow curves um, so that you can draw a shape and then use those in order to create a roof. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I will know that I'm using the Pro version of Archipack, which you can download from Archipack's website. I'm not 100% clear on what features exactly with the roof are pro versus the free version. So you can try this if you have the free version. I think some of the things are going to work, but I don't think all of them are, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. So you're going to have to check that for yourself. But either way, you can use the free version and give it a try. Um, but what we're going to do is let's take a look at the roof creation functions inside of Archipack. So in its easiest, you can add a roof just by doing a shift A and then looking under the Archipack options under the option for roof. And so when you do that, you're going to get a series of different options that are in here with different roof styles. So for example, let's pick the Roman roof and take a look at it. So if we look at this roof, and by the way, you do need to make sure that you have Archipack Pro or at least Archipack Free enabled if you're going to do this. So just make sure that you've done that and make sure that you've linked up um, the folder that contains the materials file that comes with Archipack so that you get these materials when you do this. But let's take a look at this roof. So basically what it's doing is it's coming in here and it's creating a roof that has the different tiles contained inside of it. It's creating a beam and framing as well as substructure in here. And you've also got gutters on either side. And so the cool thing about this is you can adjust these live. So for example, I can adjust the size of my roof just by clicking and dragging. So you can also click on the value in here and type in a value and hit enter in order to manually adjust the length. And I'm going to change my units to feet right here. But this is going to work a lot the same way that the walls function work in the sense that let's say you wanted this roof to turn a corner. You can click on the little button right here to add an extra segment over here. And when that adds that extra segment, you can then click on this and adjust things like angles. So for example, if I was to click in here and type in a value of 45 degrees, that's going to allow me to create a roof that turns the corner right here. So let's say I wanted to add another segment over here. You can click on that button right here and that's going to add this roof segment as well. And then you could adjust this as well. And so the cool thing about this is these are all live, meaning you can adjust each one of these inside a blender as you go. So we've got this simple roof in here. So let's add another roof and then let's take a look at some of the options that are contained in here for editing the roof. So. We're going to do a roof right here and let's add the metal function this time. So I'm just going to create a simple metal roof. And so let's tap the N key and go over into the Archipack tools right here and take a look at the parts that we can adjust because you can adjust different parts of this roof individually in here. So you can definitely adjust the height above ground. You can also adjust the width and length of each one of these, but there's more tools that you can adjust over here in the parts function. So for example, inside of the covering, you can adjust like the metal tile size that you do need to be a little bit careful when you do that um, to make sure everything's still aligning the way that you want it to. But you can adjust all the different tile sizes. You can adjust randomizations, um, some of which aren't necessarily the best inside of the actual roof covering itself, but you can definitely adjust that in here. So in addition, you can add things like hips at the top of the roof, which you can see gets added in here. And the metal roof may not be the best example. So it may be a better example to take a look at this one right here. But if we go into the parts, for example, you can turn the hip on and off. And you can see how when you turn the hip off, you no longer have a hip piece that runs across the top here. And so let's say that you wanted to do something a little bit more complex. So let's say that we had a roof right here. Let's add a segment. So we're going to split this up just a little bit and then adjust these lengths in here. Well, let's say that you wanted a roof that was going to come off of this, almost like something with like a dormer on it or something like that. So if you were to add a new roof piece, so we'll do a shift A, we'll just add a new roof and we'll go with the square function. But 
you can see how we have this roof selected, right? Well, if we come in here and this roof is roof four, right? So if we take roof six and then inside of the Archipack settings for that one, under main, if you select parent and you go to roof four, what that's gonna do is that's gonna parent this object to this other roof. Well, the cool thing about that is what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to set where on this roof this goes by selecting our part. So I'm gonna put our part to right here. Well, that's gonna take this roof piece and it's going to add it to this roof right here. So it's gonna parent it to this point and it's gonna, it's gonna have it come off of our roof in this way. And so you could do this for multiple different roof pieces if you want to. So I'm gonna move this over and let's add another roof piece. So we're gonna go to roof, square, and that one we're also gonna parent to roof number four, like this. And so let's say we wanted this one to go in the other direction. What you could do is inside of your settings, once you've parented this, go to your axis and adjust your angle to 180 degrees. Or this one might be 270. But you can see how you can use this in order to add a roof on the other side as well. So you can see how that's how you could create a roof with multiple different parts like this. Let's say that you wanted to draw walls. So let's say we were to use Archipack's draw wall tool. So I'm gonna turn my snapping on for increments and vertex. And then I'm gonna do a shift A and let's add a wall. So we're gonna draw a wall in here. And we'll just go, we'll just create something fairly simple. We'll just check the box for close. All right, so now that we've drawn a wall, if we click on it and go into the Archipack settings under the little wrench right here, there's an option in here to create a roof. So if you click in here, you can create a roof like this. You can adjust the overflow, which is how far outside of this this is going to go. And you can click on OK. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to create a roof based on the location that you've selected. So you can create a roof from your walls just like this. And then one other way you can create a roof from a custom shape is to use draft mode. And so to use draft mode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by adding a curve. So I'm gonna do a shift A, and we're just going to go to curve, and we're just gonna add a line. And then I'm gonna move this over along the x-axis, and let's make sure, so I'm just going to do a scale Z zero. What that's gonna do is that's gonna scale that to zero. And then that way this is flat, but we're just gonna extrude a shape. So I'm just using this curve in order to create a shape. And we'll just make it closed like this. But now, if we go into the create window right here, you can select the option for create draft. And so when we create a draft, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a roof draft shape over here. Well then, we wanna click into our shape option. We wanna select the option for from curve, and we wanna go select our line. So we're just gonna select line right here. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna use the line that you have in here in order to draft out a roof. And you can make some adjustments to this if you want to. I'm not really super interested in making a bunch of adjustments right now, but once you have that draft, you can create a roof by just doing a shift A. So I'm gonna click off of this. I'm gonna do a shift A, Archipack. I'm gonna create a roof like this. And we'll go ahead and pick maybe this round option this time. But you can see how we've got our roof over here. But if we click inside of the user defined, we can select the option for roof draft. So when you select roof draft, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a roof from the draft that you had selected in here. So now if you look at this, you can see how you have this roof that was created really easily from this draft that's in here. All right, and then finally, let's say that you have a roof that you need to remove some material from. Well, there's an option in here. Um, if you click on a roof, so I just have a roof that I added right here. And if you click on a roof in the Archipack functions, there's an option here for roof cutter. What roof cutter is going to do, and we're just gonna to go to our top down view, is it's just gonna create a cutter object in here that'll cut an opening 
inside of your roof. And so one thing I've noticed is this doesn't seem to work unless you adjust it once. So if I come in here and make this like 12 feet, then this is going to adjust and it's gonna work fine. So for whatever reason, it seems like it only works if you um, make a change to something, but you can see how you can use this in order to remove material from your roof. So let's say we were to look at this from the top down. Let's say we wanted a hole, maybe over here, We'll just make a minor adjustment right here. You can see how that's coming through here, and there may be a better way to do that, by the way. I'm not sure how to get it to update. But you can see how that comes in here, and that actually removes material around this opening. So, But it's pretty cool because there's also actually a piece of framing that seems to go in around the opening as well. But if you do need to cut holes or openings or whatever, um, you should be able to do that really easily using this add-on. So that's from it in this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. Have you tried Archipax roof functions before? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.